Hello guys, so today we're going to discuss about the absolute value. So we're going to get the uh, absolute value of a number. Okay, so uh, what is this uh, absolute value? So we have here a definition of absolute value. So the absolute value of a number is the distance from zero in the number line regardless of sign. Absolute value is indicated by two vertical lines surrounding the number. The symbol, so this symbol means the absolute value of n. Okay. So let's as have some uh, illustration in order to uh, uh, understand the absolute value okay so i have here a number line so a number line is composed of positive and negative numbers wherein the origin is zero so uh, by uh, getting the absolute value of a certain number so we're going to uh, get the distance of a point from zero okay so uh, if I have here a point okay point five okay so if we're going to get the absolute value or the distance from zero up to this point so what will be the distance okay if we're going to get the distance from zero up to this point so what will be the distance so uh, let us have this one so we have this one up to this point okay so from this point from zero up to this point so what will be the distance okay so from this uh, from zero up to this point so what will be the distance okay so let us count so zero this is one two three four five okay so from this uh, point or from zero up to this point we have five units okay Okay, another one okay, let us count one two three four five okay so from zero up to this point we have also five units okay so from zero to positive five and from zero to negative five so the distance is five units that is why if we're going to get the absolute value of this of the distance so we have positive 5 absolute value of positive 5 is equal to 5 because the distance is 5 here if we're going to get the absolute value of negative 5 so the answer here is 5 because the distance is 5 so take note there is no negative distance so all absolute values of a number is equal to positive number okay so example so if we have here to get the absolute value of okay so let's have some example okay get the absolute value of uh, let's say this is your example one okay get the absolute value of negative thir uh, negative 12 okay so the answer here to read this one 
the absolute value of negative 12 okay so the negative the absolute value of negative 12 is equal to 12 okay so how about absolute value of positive 12 so the positive the absolute value of positive 12 is equal to 12 also okay okay absolute value of uh, negative 8 okay so the absolute value of negative 8 is 8 then the absolute value of positive 8 is also equal to 8 okay so this is how to get the absolute value of a number again always take note this one all absolute values of negative numbers are positive because you are uh, going to uh, get the distance from zero up to the uh, given uh, point so that is positive if your direction is uh, going to the right still the distance or the absolute value is positive if your distance is going to the left still the distance or the absolute value of a number is still positive okay so i have uh, many uh, more example for absolute value <clears throat> so uh let us uh, if, uh, have some <coughs> other example for this. If we're going to get the... Uh, okay, let us get... Uh, or let us evaluate the following. Okay. If we have here... Okay evaluate uh, let's say uh, 9 absolute value of 9 plus absolute value of negative 6 okay so uh, to evaluate this one so we're going to get the absolute value of 9 okay so the absolute value of 9 is 9 so we have 9 plus absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6 so the answer here is 15 okay so uh another one example number three so evaluate or get the absolute value of this or this sum of this absolute value so we have uh, let's say negative eight plus absolute negative ten so what will be the answer okay so get the absolute value of negative eight eight plus 10 okay absolute value of negative 10 is 10 so we have 18 okay so uh, I have here another example for uh, absolute value okay so we have uh, solve and illustrate absolute value of y equals 3 using the number line so i have already here a number line so a number line again composed of positive and negative numbers and uh, we have zero as the uh, origin of a number line so how can you solve in a straight uh, absolute value of y equals 3 so uh, to solve this one it means that the distance from zero to y is equal to 3 okay so in any directions 
either you go to the right or to the left the, so the distance from 0 to y is still equal to 3 so let us illustrate so we have here 0 then up to uh, we're going to count 3 units ok 3 units so we have here the distance from 0 to y is 3 so we have 1 2 and 3 okay. so we stop here ok going to the left 1 2 3 ok so we stop here also here so meaning the distance from 0 to y which is equal to 3 then we stop here or we arrive here at positive 3 so meaning the value of your y is equal to 3 another one from 0 going to the left we arrive at negative 3 so meaning the value of your y is negative Okay. Therefore, y is negative 3 and positive 3. So, if we're going to get the absolute value of y, so we have <coughs> okay, absolute value of y. So, we have 3 negative equals 3. So, 3 is equal to 3. Okay, check. Okay. So, absolute value of positive 3 is equal to 3. So, 3 is equal to 3. Okay, check. Okay, so, uh, another example. We have here another problem. Okay. Solve and illustrate absolute value of y minus 3 equals 2. So, uh, to find the solution for this uh, problem, um, y must be um, a number whose distance from 3 is 2. Okay? So, uh, let us uh, illustrate this uh, using number line. Okay. So, solve for the value of y. So, from 3 the distance is 2. Okay. We're going to count uh, 2 in both directions. Okay. So, let us move 2 units to the, to the right and move two units to the left okay so we have here from three we have one two okay so this one so we arrive at positive five so meaning your y here is equal to five okay another one going to the left we have 1, 2. Okay. So, here, we stop at positive 1. Or, 2 units, 2 units, no? Or, we arrive at positive 1. So, meaning, 1 value of y here is equal to 1. Okay. So, uh... If we're going to uh, solve this using uh, algebra without the aid of the number line, so this is how to solve this one. Okay. So. Okay, so to solve for the value of y, 
we are going to use this one without the aid of the number line so uh, y minus 3 absolute value of y minus 3 is equal to 2 so uh, we have this follow me so this is a uh, for one solution then another another one we have y minus 3 equals negative 2 okay so we're going to get the absolute value negative 2 okay so we have here the solve y minus 3 is equal to 2 so eliminate this one we have 3 3 okay and so we have y now is equal to 5 okay. this one so we have y minus 3 equals negative 2 eliminate this one positive 3 positive 3 okay 0 y now is equal to negative 2 plus 3 so we have 1 okay so y is also equal to 5 and y also equal to 1.